Ladies and gentlemen, Kyler Davenport, uh, we're going to try to do this one more time. I know this sounds completely delusional, but um, the boys are messing with us, and they're messing with a whole lot of other alternative public radio producers and directors and hosts out there. They just shut this, they just shut this video down in midstream. Uh, and the reason I know they're messing with us is they continued to record after the recording was canceled. Uh, for those of you who don't believe or don't understand what's going on here in this digital matrix, then uh, you're too far gone to ever return to any kind of normalcy of understanding of uh, what's, what's happening here. But we're going to try this thing one more time. Davenport here in the great northwest in an undisclosed location somewhere between Oregon and Washington on this wonderful Pacific Ocean here in the studio in the rescue unit. Uh, I'm sitting in the slash uh, broadcasting seat slash studio slash disaster uh, unit. Um, we are Alternative Public Radio International. We are uh, A-P-R-I. I want you all to remember that A-P-R-I. I tell you what, we've worked five years to get this network up and running. We've worked very hard day and night, sometimes 18 hours a day, seven days a week for the last five years to bring this to fruition. And it is here. It is now. It is on. It is hot. And we are going 24 hours we have about seven hosts in the network now, uh, to name a few, Mr. Justice Clark, a.k.a. Floetic Justice, Mr. Tom Ufert, uh, Mr. Stephen Roberts, Mr. Bernie Nelson, Mr. Kyler Davenport, and uh, a couple of more that we're interviewing to bring into the network to slowly bring this thing up to speed where we can move to a 24-hour channel. We want to do music from all around the world. We want to do talk radio that is above and beyond cool, man. We want to dig beyond the surface of the mainstream media stories and get the real story that's down deep, the one that people do not talk about, the one the media, mainstream media doesn't have time to go out and investigate. That's what we want to do. We have associate producers around the world feeding us information on the ground from places uh, such as Russia. Uh, the Ukraine, uh, Gaza, Israel, Palestine, Egypt, Jordan, Canada, Australia, Costa Rica. We have uh, producers all over South America. Uh, we'll get into this north-south thing as we move along in some of these shows and talk about um, how the north is, is, is affected by the south and vice versa. Um, and how that's affected us uh, in uh, alternative radio. We are looking for hosts, directors, producers, associate producers, uh, graphic artists. We're looking for lecturers, speakers, and teachers. We're looking for people who want to become a part of Alternative Public Radio International. We're looking for people who care about their community enough to sacrifice some time to get with us over here and um, help build this station to six million listeners. That's what we want to do is build this station to six million listeners. We go out right now um, in several formats, several platforms, several networks to probably 1.2 million, 1.3 million people over an extended period of time, but that's not good enough. We want to bring our live audiences up to about 350, 400, 500 people. And that is powerful, my friends. I, I, I'll talk about it on air if you want me to explain it. But any, any Internet talk show that can bring in three to 500 people live is beyond comprehension. Uh, the things that you can do with that many people at a live performance or radio show is almost incomprehensible if you can just grab a hundred of those people or 50 of those people to cross promote as many of you know we do have a very powerful cross promotion project and uh, it is in full swing right now and we would love for you all to come and be a part of it it's a very simple concept you promote us we promote you quid pro quo quid pro quo uh, we will put you right up there. Your books, 
your special projects, your nonprofits, whatever you're doing, we will put you right up there alongside some of our artists who are coming on that we're interviewing out of Nashville, some of our megastars that are coming up through Bernie Nelson. Uh, by the way, Bernie Nelson is someone I didn't mention a while ago. Bernie's a very, very uh, popular musician who is in the know and who is very well ingrained in the Nashville scene as well as other music genres. And he's going to be having a show on called Weekend at Bernie's. And that's going to be very exciting. And then, of course, I mentioned Tom Euford with Tom Talk coming on. Uh, we will have a guide up so all of you can see where everybody is and what nights everybody's going to be on here pretty soon. So we love you all very much. Uh, it's a tough love. It's a it's a tough love, man. I tell you, we believe in tough love. We are we are realists, ladies and gentlemen. We are realists to the core. Uh, we will not blow smoke up your ass. We will not tell you what you want to hear. We will not go and buy likes from the like farms all over the world for thirty five dollars per thousand. That's right. I can get likes for thirty five dollars per thousand per thousand. So we will not do anything uh, that's not real to the core, real to the gut. Uh, to the point of fault. We are Free Voice Radio. We are Free Voice Radio. I'm a firm believer in freedom of speech. And that is to a fault also. I'm a firm believer of freedom of speech even if it hurts someone terribly. I will not cut anyone off. I will not cut anyone down. As long as they're coherent in their speech, and as long as they're articulate with their message, I will not censor them or cut them off. Of course, if someone becomes violent, abusive, yes, I will cut them off. But uh, my buttons are hard to push. My buttons are hard to push. I will go to the limit for someone to let them speak their mind. We have a massive opportunity here for you authors who want to come in and be promoted in this network, but you have to equally promote us. You have to put the same kind of energy in to us that we put into you. We have a lot of special missions here. We work with the mental health departments here in the Northwest. We are going to be working with the Sheriff's Department here in the Northwest with our disaster team. We're going to work on assisting the psychiatric evaluation team here in the Northwest. And uh, we are also, as many of you know, senior citizen advocates. We stand for those seniors who are being abused and neglected in these long-term care uh, centers around the country and around the world. We have many connections in many places, and we will soon be hope hopefully moving into South America with the station. Uh, we're very proud to have Justice Clark in the network as a vice president of operations, and we're also very proud to announce... Uh, our uh, nonprofit organization is being worked on as we speak, our 501c3 or c6. We're not exactly sure which way we're going yet. We are doing a $25,000 fundraiser. We want to raise money for the station and our many missions. If you can help, please PM us. Get in contact with Mr. Justice Clark or Miss Marion Pound uh, on their Facebook pages. Uh, I thank you all very much for listening, and I hope that you can grasp the importance of this cross-promotion project that we're doing here in the Northwest and how powerful it is to each and every one of you because of the algorithms changing so drastically on Facebook and other platforms. They're making people pay for what used to be free. They're dividing and separating all of us from each other, and uh, we are having to create a Facebook within a Facebook Yes, we're tough. We're tough. We're tough. I tell you, this, you know, I can be a real asshole on air, but I've been around, ladies and gentlemen, former EMT, paramedic, forensic science, dead body pickup, embalming, crematorium, search and rescue, you name it, I've done it. And uh, I think this is the people you need to be listening to or those that are out there that have done the work and that are doing the work. So until next time, this is Kyler Davenport, APRI. Um, I want to give a shout out to Justice Clark, my brother the main man, my co-pilot out there, and I want to say hello to Bernie Nelson and Tom Euford and Stephen Roberts 
And I want to say hi to Ms. Marion Pound, our person who does everything here at the network and makes it possible for us to even get up in the morning and be on air. So until next time, we love you all. May the light be with you. Talk to you soon.